Pearlover was started in 1971 by my father-in-law, Mr. Chen. On a very base level, Pearlover is um, an Asian department store. So you can find ceramics here, you can find uh, feng shui, artifacts, buddhas, parasols, fans, but it's also a store that has great meaning and that's because it's been around for 50 years. It started as a political statement. Mr. Chen started it with a group of young political activists. They couldn't understand why the United States and China had no diplomatic relations. So they thought they would create a store where you could buy Asian goods and realize that your neighbors here in Chinatown were just like you. So everybody enjoyed tasty foods, they wanted nice things for their home, and they wanted a community of friends and family. You know, in the beginning, a lot of people didn't understand what Mr. Chen was doing. There were people in Chinatown who told him, you know, don't make waves, it's very dangerous for you. He was visited by the FBI probably twice a month who were convinced that he was maybe a spy. He said to them that he'd be happy to talk to them, but it had to be over dim sum <laughs> and they um, had to let him pay. That's a great example of how he thought. It's why he opened a friendship store because there's nothing that um, breaks down these cultural barriers than just talking over dim sum. When people in New York thought that the store was closing, there was just a great reaction on social media and in the press. And it was pretty intense. We didn't expect it at all, but the rent quintupled. It, it is Soho and it is New York City real estate, but an increase like that is just unsustainable for a small New York City business like ourselves. We felt like we were in a position to reopen the store. Um, and that's something that I think New York still needs especially in this time, um, you know, the world needs more cross-cultural joy and that's what Pearl River does. The one the thing that's really amazing about the Chens is that they, they always shielded their kids from kind of the, the ups and downs of business. So we actually didn't really um, discuss it until one Thanksgiving where um, we were asking how um, the search was going for either a new investor or a new team and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Chen um, said, you know, it's probably not gonna work unless we find somebody who really like feels the mission and uh, who's the right leader to continue the legacy. And she said two words, she said, anyone interested? And for us, you know, she had never posed that question directly before. So that night, my husband and I, we both looked at each other at the same time and we said, what about us? I have two small sons and you know, every day, I'm happy to work on something that I hope will still be here for them. It's something that, that means a lot to me, and I, really that's all you can ask for in a career. The store has had an impact in a subtle but no less powerful way, which is that it has integrated Asian culture into American culture. So things like chopsticks or sushi or lucky cats, these things are ingrained in the fabric of American culture now. And that's in part because of Pearl River. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.